have you heard that story I used to tell on stage of the kid when I was like nine years old? I this me and my friend both started masturbating, and <laughs> he used to he'd push his dick into his hand on his stomach. <laughs> There's actually websites that explain that you shouldn't do that. It's a way some boys masturbate, like they apply pressure. Really? And it hurts your dick, like it does long term damage. Do they go up and down or just push on it, like push they're giving really it CPR? Hard. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a palp. palp, palp yeah, the palp head swells. Wow, <laughs> yeah, and so I, he, had, he asked me to sit on his ass while he was doing it. So oh. there would be more pressure. Oh, he was kind of like humping his hand. Yeah. It's not gay because he just needed more pressure. And you pressure. had to sit yeah, on his ass. Right. sat on his naked ass. Uh, with oh, your uh, pants on? That's It's weird that everybody asked that because that wouldn't help. No, no, know. you know, but why is that? You're right. <laughs> that's that is the first thing everybody cool. asks is, did you Were your you? pants on? They were on, yeah. Uh, I okay. think. I, that's oh, what I mean. oh, oh, boy. I, no, I, I don't think. remember. As I came to, I was looking at Charlie's pants went down. Louis sat on a kid's ass. I sat on a kid's ass. I did things when I was a little boy. I don't I, when I was like in uh, fourth grade, me and my friend Mike, t he had a scuba mask. <laughs> yeah. And we were taking the scuba mask and pressing our ball, dick and balls against it. Was, like <laughs> smushed against the glass. <laughs> <laughs> we just like, ah, we just taking turns doing that and just looking at our dicks smashed up against the glass. Scuba glass. Yes. That, Louis, that oh. leads to one of our favorite bits. Yeah. yeah you're funny. That's, uh, I think that's, that's funny. funny. That's funny, yeah. Yeah, there's things yeah, you definitely. do among... <laughs> me and my friends used to jerk off in the same room all the time. Yeah, he's only going to go... Kid, one kid would tell you... This is something me and my friend used to do. One kid would tell the, the, he'd tell you a story about a girl you want to fuck, and you jerk off while you listen to him tell the story, and then you tell him a story and he jacks off. That is a and then you wacky. Fuck, and then you fuck each other. If, yeah. if, <laughs> if I heard the story first and jerked yeah, off, yeah. he'd say my turn for a story. He would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Who's yeah. telling the and story then she after you come? off together. I wanted to. Play, I was a big kid. I wanted to play football in high school. And I had a friend that was a year ahead of me, and he said, well, you have to jack off in front of everybody in the shower. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody jacks off on you. <laughs> uh, they take, they, they close your, your asshole with duct tape, and uh, oh, everybody great. slaps your dick. No, this all had, this is what our, what was, the high school football locker room was like, and I was like, well, I, I'm not playing football because I'm not gay. It's the gay, yeah, Louis football not, camp and the football team. He's thing. not exaggerating because we had that story on yeah. Long Island with the pine cones. Oh, the pine cones. Oh, That's all these guys yeah. do. No, this is what America is built on. And then they go, like George Bush and the, the, the Skull and Bones. Right. You know that just means guys are fucking each other up the ass. <laughs> like guys, the future presidents yeah. fucking each other up the ass. And then they go to Abu Ghraib and stick their dicks in Iraqi people's faces. <laughs> like this is what fucking like macho powerful people do. Yeah. That's the ultimate assertion of American power yeah. is is sticking your is the dick. dick in someone's face. This isn't gay because it doesn't include another man. But when I was a kid, we lived in a two-family house. So mm -hmm. there was, and there was these nurses that lived together above us. And I was Ooh, sexy, fucking. I didn't care what they looked like. I just, and I used to. Our basements were connected, so I, I would stay home from school, uh, pretending I was sick, and I would go down in the basement and climb. I'd go into their apartment. Wow. And I would find their balls. I'd jack off in their underwear. <laughs> Wow. And then I go back downstairs and feel horrible about myself. Make your getaway. Yes. <laughs> Feeling all guilty yes. about what you did, left. These, did you take the underwear with you? No, no, I left it there. You left these, jizzed underwear? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? These women, douchebag. these women, it's not like they lived with a guy. They, who, what the fuck did they What the fuck did I do last night? Jizz in my underwear. And they knew it was you because they'd find a load of some day. smarty rappers. <laughs> 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 Who else could it have been but the boy dancing? <laughs> some baseball cards. Oh, my God. Let's Why is this Red Sox pennant? <laughs> my... Yeah, a fucking Fred Lynn card with a load <laughs> of half sprayed on it. <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to Jamie in Cleveland. <laughs> You are, no you are one line in a long list of places where jizz can go. <laughs> exactly. just, You're just the most irritating. In a, in a cunt is like number 32 <laughs> exactly. on the list of a thousand. That's right. <laughs> it, 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 it's after hand and before face of invalid. <laughs> <laughs> I showed my penis to a retarded girl when I was uh, uh, when I was nine.
there was a family of like it's nice people that looked <laughs> retarded like, people. Yeah, it was like the I forget their names, but they all had Down syndrome. Like all these kids. <laughs> the Nagels. Even, even the father looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Jimmy! Who oh, is that Nagels? evil? Who are the, I don't know. Uh, it's Eric Nagel oh, sitting yeah. right over there. See, if he would have done the butt rub, we would have left him alone. Oh, the Nagel! <laughs> <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> no, but I was behind a CVS. Yeah, I'm looking for something, and there was Gina, whatever her name was, and I just said, "Can I show him? Show you my dink?" And she said, "Okay, <laughs> so I just sure." Took it out and let her see it. Wow. I grew up in Newton, and there was in Massachusetts, and there was a guy. They called him Florida Steve, and he was a little. We had Crazy John. <laughs> Florida Steve. <laughs> yeah. Florida. I'm from the Everglades. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, really Florida, Florida Steve. And this weird little old man, and he'd come up to you, like if you were in a park or in the street, and he'd go, hey, uh, hey, uh, how are you? And, and he'd ask you about Florida. He'd just steer the conversation. <laughs> ah, it's hot, but it's Florida hot in Steve. Florida right now. And you'd go, yeah, it's hot in Florida. He goes, what are the girls like down there? And you'd, have, you'd tell him, like everybody in town knew how to do this. Was Florida. he Rizzo? You'd, you'd tell him, uh, well, the girls, they got, they, got, they got big tits down there, and he'd start jerking off in his pocket. Like, this is just wow. Like, do anyway so i saw him i was by my you know you with your friends and you make fun of florida steve <laughs> of course crazy old man <laughs> and one day i was alone in a park and he walked up to me and i i he's i took out my dick and showed it to him i don't know why. did he ask he just went okay have a nice day and he kind of walked away and wow. i realized that i had freaked out you yes. freaked out florida the old, steve yeah, florida steve did he, think florida. It was a, did he think it was the stem of a florida tangerine <laughs> <laughs> his little red pubes maybe <laughs> could have been florida i didn't steve have pubes yet though Let's go to Oz in Georgia. And then you come, 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 and then you die. No, no, I'm gay.